don't need any of that open. <coughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, sadly, I don't have two monitors anymore because one of my monitors is like totally broken. So that's unfortunate. So I'll, I might be a bit delayed on picking up the chat. Uh, I think I need to turn off stack tracing for now. So I probably don't need that. All right, so actually technically, first thing on my list was to change this door graphic color because it does not quite contrast well enough. Um, I'm not sure where I stuck it in there. I think it's just materials, maybe? I had a texture though. I'm really sure where that texture is. I guess one thing I could do as far as having the chat up, I don't know whether anybody will actually join in, but I can just do this number. Um, I probably still have enough room. I actually do not know where that texture is. Sprites environment art. Okay, so for some reason I stuck it in there. And I need to probably make it darker. Um, so I'm just going to do that. It's, it's essentially just um, temporary art. So I guess it doesn't matter too much. I could do something like a gradient on it though, which might make it stand out slightly better. If I did like uh, that, and then uh, oops, okay. I can probably do this right. And then if I did like. It'll probably look terrible, but I can try that. Well, it certainly stands out, hopefully, as not being floor, but... Uh, it's got compression on it, it looks like. Because it compressed the colors. It's a bit strange. I don't see any compression. I gotta remember to keep this open though if I'm gonna do that. Not that anybody's likely to join in, but um okay. I think that looks a bit strange with the that, so let's try this to begin with. Sort of a problem of just how I designed that texture. I should probably. Oh, there's some weirdness there. I wonder if that's always the case. Okay, 
based on a new game. But yeah, it looks more like it should be brighter. In any case, it looks bad, but it's not intended to look good. It's just intended to be a debug thing. Just to at least be recognizable that it's a wall, you know, I guess was the point. I'm trying to tell whether this starts, it starts depressed, which is really weird. Why would it start depressed? Oh boy. Bugs, bugs. Okay, because that's no good. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I don't know if it does that with no save, or if it does that with a new game, or what's going on. I'm running into a bug. I'm going to call this, uh, this task done, though. I might make it brown or something. Nah, nah, color looks weird. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do with that door. blur on it like that. Ugh. Yeah, those gotta get replaced. But anyway, I'm gonna say that's done. Um, but there's some bug here with these. And I need to check really quickly whether or not it's a bug with um, the save or not. So I'm just going to kill all these saves. That's something that actually needs to get fixed too. Did I put that in here? Yeah, okay. It's not the most important thing, but more important than some. Uh, okay, so let's start it with no save at all and just see if it like bugs out with no save. Um, I know there's something with no save where it doesn't load the actual proper thing. Okay, so I've got some some bug there with the controller thing. Also getting a really weird issue where even though it's running at 500 frames a second, it's like running really slowly. Maybe that's the puzzle panel editor. Okay. So it's because the Unity UI is running really slowly because my puzzle panel editor is really slow on that big puzzle up there. So, well, let's see if that gets initialized right, because if it doesn't, then there's something weird. Okay, so it looks like it gets initialized right when there's a, a new, new file. But if I start a new file, that's probably the problem. There's something happening there. But uh, I don't quite got to worry about that, because mostly starting a new file is for my debug purposes and not like uh, an actual thing that you're doing right now. Okay, well, now I'm not seeing the bug anyway. And I gotta fix this uh, text. Because um, I don't have... I don't have this in front of that other thing that it should be. So how do I get that in front of there? Um, I guess I can just move it forwards unless it's... Okay, so that doesn't seem to work. So how do I get that to go in front of that? Can I, like, 
pin a website or like a, a, a window? Hmm, I guess not. It would be a nice thing to be able to do. Uh, I can't really see what I can do here. I just don't see any reason or any 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 place to set the layer because that's set to like below player, which should be below this, but for some reason is above that, which is very strange. The default layer works fine, but if I set it to below player, it doesn't work. that up, I guess. Text mesh pro text below files. <sighs> That's not really much help. Now, I don't really know why these are not working right. Let's, I guess I could see again if they are, but earlier it was showing both sets of controls, which is a bug. Because it should be just showing the PC controls. something to do with the scene. I might have messed up the hierarchy here. I think I did. I think it's supposed to have a uh, yeah, gamepad controls root. Of course I changed that all I'm in play mode because I haven't changed the play mode tent to do anything. Okay, I don't want it that aggressive. I think that actually does save while I'm in play mode. do a different 
different color instead of the green. I mean, red's nice because it's easy on my eyes, but... Sure, it'd be bad, bad for the stream to have red, because it would probably kill everything. Okay, so I gotta fix those again. <laughs> but at least I did figure out what it was. Let's see. So yeah, the issue is these need to be in the gamepad. And that needs to be in there, and that needs to be in there, and then these need to go in that. So the issue is it's supposed to all be inside of a root that gets things enabled or disabled um, based on what's going on. There we go. That is all very good. So I should be able to put another thing up here. if I'm trying to display stuff this way. I just want to... Look at that. Okay, let's... Uh, let's open that in a sprite. I'm not sure why. It's set by default to open in Photoshop, but it's okay. Sprites and... I'm not really sure where that'd be. Okay, it's in here. Alright, so I should be able to expand this to like... Uh, another additional row or something. It should be okay. Yeah. Now I may want simplified icons at some point besides the ones that I have. I don't know why I put this really weird like this. It should be up like uh, that or something. Okay. In any case, uh, shift usually is represented with like a arrow or something, right? So usually you have like an arrow here. It's like a return now, right? And then of course shift is not that long. Shift is much more like this. So I'm gonna try that, see what that does. Okay, so we're gonna have to trim these up a little bit, I think. Well, everything got screwed up, unfortunately. Okay, that's fine though. Uh, let's just go to that in here. Where is that? Materials panel. Where is that? Control icons, here we go. So then we go here, and then we can just move these back up here, like that. And then that can get moved in here. Should be something like that. 
What is this? What is this green thing? Oh, the border. I don't know what this border is for, but. So then I should be able to do, how do we add a new slice? Shadow screwed up on that though. Shadow should be at Okay, so let's look at all that now. pretty good. So then this one up here can be shift. other one needs to be a left trigger, which is much harder to draw. Oh, hey Marcus. Uh, yeah, I'm just replacing this text here with icons because I've had this text here forever and I was messing around trying to figure out how to get it to draw in front of the tile map renderer when you don't have it on the default layer and that seemed really like a pain, so I just was like, eh, I'll just do, I'll just go ahead and do the the UI things. I'm supposed to be doing puzzle design right now, but there's a little bit of things that were easy enough to do, so I figured I'd do them. Okay, so, uh, well, the problem is I probably need a separate UI indicator, but anyway. Hello, Marcos. How are you doing? Are you doing good? I hope you're doing good. Um, let's see. I guess we'll look at the Xbox One trigger and the uh, PS4 trigger. So both of those are black. Um, these look like that. They look like this little round doodad. Sadly, I don't have another monitor, so I have to bring up chat on screen to see it. Um, I actually do have another monitor, but it's broken. I need to replace it. Um, yeah, so how's that uh, Steam Disk Pontifus? It is true that icons do not need translations. But yeah, I still haven't played Dispontibus. I actually didn't even know what the game really was until I watched that little trailer that you made. And I was like, spoilers. I, sh I really should play it. It's, it's a terrible thing for me to admit that I haven't played it yet. So let's see. A trigger 
on the PS4. Let's get rid of this shadow for a minute so we can kind of just work on this. Let me, uh, let me bring this over to you. Don't worry. Well, is the Steam version going to be better? Is it going to be so much better? Okay, so that looks too much like a button, I think. Let me uh, put this over here, too. There we go. Luckily, Windows 10 is pretty good about that stuff. Okay, so... These are weird trigger mods, aren't they? So the regular ones just look like this, I think. It's just this round top and like a sharp flat bottom, kind of like this. Um, I am using a program called Ace Sprite. Um, Ace Sprite, yeah. Um, Ace Sprite is really great. I would absolutely recommend Ace Sprite to anybody uh, if they want to do pixel art. Um, it handles pretty much anything you would want. It does palette stuff, it does full color stuff, it does animations if you want to do animations. It's got layers, it's, it's really good. <clears throat> well, I'm glad if it will be more presentable, but uh, I thought it looked fine. <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. I guess I need to put RT on here somehow because I think that's what it says um, on the trigger. Let me look at that trigger again. R2 would be that, except I need L2 because it's left trigger, I think. So L2 and LT will be my two things there. So that's a two. Let me turn grid, the grid off. And let me get a little preview thing so I can see this a little better. Um, probably want to go for this style where it's more solid. And the bottom of this needs to be basically flat. So I'm just going to flatten it out like this to begin with. Yes, A Sprite's great. Uh, you can also buy it through Steam if you want to do it that way. Um, that way, Steam will keep it up to date. Oh, that looks weird. Okay. Um, let's see. They kind of lift up at the top, don't they? So. Kind of like a button here, and then it's like a lip up at the top. And the way that that is looks a little off center, so let's do like. really decide whether to do it like that or do it like how to do it because they're kind of a strange shape to be honest they're a little more tapered like this I think
guess I had a, I did have a third highlight color that I was using on the stick. Which might be useful here. spending too much time on this one thing. And realistically it should probably be like a thick two instead of a thin two. But then it starts to look really weird. So I'm just gonna go with this for now. And then we'll do another one over here. other ones. Um, next one's one triggers. Well, they kind of look more blocky, I guess. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Here we go. I guess I can move that one over a little bit, I think. No, maybe not. Um, yeah, it does require decisions, uh, but... Um, it's mostly economical would be kind of the point for me, I guess. I really am just trying to see what an Xbox One trigger looks like. Not a trigger mod. <laughs> well, I guess I'll look at somebody else's trigger icon and see what they did. So I guess they do a thing that curves left like that. Um, do, 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 This looks like an Xbox 360 controller. But yeah. Why does this say, hold on. It looks like that says left trigger and that says right trigger on that image. Which is a little backwards. Well, I would say it seems like the right thing to do is to do something that curves left in some way. Even though I can't see what these things look like. Looks like they're curved. Yeah, so it would be curved out to the left and then straight along the other side. So it would be kind of like this. Let me make this smaller so I can erase a little easier. So it's kind of like that, except that's a little bit too aggressive on the flat side. And uh, I think it's a little more Flat, maybe possibly to go the other way. No, that doesn't make sense. Well, I said I'd be doing design. I actually don't know what I labeled the stream. I have no idea. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not labeled something terrible and stupid. But it probably is. Let's look at that trigger again. So it doesn't really look very rounded at all until it gets to the end. It looks kind of like 
kind of like, like it's going like this, and then it's like slightly rounded here. And then at the very end there, it goes in like this. And then it's slightly rounded on that side, so it's more like the shape's kind of like this. hard to the triggers are harder to draw than even the sticks the sticks are weird the triggers are hard to draw does usually have an arrow on it. So that's normal, I suppose. Let's go with that. So then I can put that there and put another one there. So this would be a Xbox LT. And this one would be, oops, this would be PC. about listening to some music but I never know what I can play that is not gonna get muted later that's kind of a, a problem I don't know whether uh, if you're still there Marcus I don't know if you have any music suggestions or if you'd rather not listen to music just listen to the dulcet tones of my voice or what let's see Something in the public domain. Alright, let's see. Uh, public domain music. <laughs> do 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 do. Do 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 do. Listen to random stuff from the Free Music Archive before. Concern is if I stream anything, 
it eats that bandwidth. It'll probably be okay, but we'll keep an eye on. Okay, well, I don't look like I'm dropping any frames, so it should be okay. Okay, so this one here should be changed to this. This one should be PS4. Um, multi. Pretty sure those are the, are the controls. I haven't guaranteed. They're guaranteed. I guess I haven't tested if they work, but okay, so that should go into the Xbox thing. And should go in there, and then PC Shift is there. Okay. So those should all work properly. So that when you get out there, you will see it says ship. I'm just assuming I don't end up making the aim, just click to move. Um, which might be useful, but I don't know. We'll decide on that later. Okay, so that should say shift unless I was. Using a controller, which I don't know if there's any way for me to set other than just hack it right now. That would be under the controller, which is like here. Okay. No, it's not in controller, is it? Okay, maybe it is. It's in uh, current control method. There's that oh, right here. Um, so I'm gonna force that to one and see what it does. It might. It might work. It might reset it immediately. But it looks like it just reset it. So that was really short. Anyway, let me know if. Uh, it starts dropping frames like crazy or something. Oh, this is like this is a little different. It's fun. <laughs> okay. I guess I could do it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go current control method equals one, just to test to see whether it switches without me having to go get a controller and plug it up. Okay, so that works for now. Um, those will probably end up coming up on the screen rather than just being floating in the world um, in the like actual shipping thing. But for now, it's like something to be there so I don't have to have this. So that's fine. So I can kill the text. Which actually means I don't need the text renderer anymore. Um... let that play through whatever it plays um okay i need to actually do what i was gonna do now now that i've done some minor bug fixing and things which is i need to go up here and test all these puzzles Probably fine for the most part. Don't really need that one. These colors are a bit weird for these. Just something I thought about. Okay. Don't really need these so much. Yeah, this is what I need to start figuring out. Like, what am I gonna 
start with with this. solve it here like that and then go over here and then resolve it like this so that you could go here um, which is kind of neat oh see you Marcos thanks for joining have a good one it's kind of weird clown music That's what it sounds like. let's listen to something different this is like all over the place that I'm listening to here. I'm really just trying to decide. Okay, I think. But I need something before that. We got four by two or something. Yeah, I think we might do a four by two. In way it's got less things, but it's still kind of.
another weird bouncy song. Some things that are a little more like... No. Yeah, let's try this. Um, okay. So I was thinking like... It might be good to have one that's... Really, any of these can be done that way. We need that one, I think, something like that. something like that. That wouldn't be too terrible as far as like an intermediate puzzle here. Right, I feel like these puzzles are going to be easy no matter what I do, so I don't have to worry too much about uh, what I'm doing, but I do feel like I should have kind of basic. Maybe rather than just that, I should like flip those middles to where they're kind of in a, in a row.
that one over there is not bad for that. I go like that. And run those together. And you run um, something like this, only without the connections probably would be cool. This to that to that, which is kind of like a complex one with two colors. And then we would go to this one, and you'd be like, okay, I guess I'll try doing that. I think that's doable. I'm concerned that it will end up being overly hard. It's okay. take a real quick break.
Alright, um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm leaning towards. As far as this stuff goes. I think I did like. No, that's not right. Oh, it's just down here. I did change the stuff. I think something like this is probably viable. pretty basic sequence that gets you introduced and acquainted with these kind of things. I mean, for most people, this might be enough. They might guess, okay, well, there are two colors, so maybe I do, like, one, one color, one the other, right? still guess that people are probably going to want at that point to have something that's pretty simple. That's why I kind of have this guy here. Because you probably want to have something where you're like, okay, fill in one color and not the other. So, like, rather than this shape, maybe I would want to do something that was like... Kind of the point here is not to be hard, exactly, but to be interesting, because at this level of introduction to this, you're going to kind of get it a little bit, and you want to be tested on your knowledge of that basic concept. So you'd come to this and be like, okay, well, what am I going to do here? Uh, and you'd be like, okay, well, let me try filling it in. And you'd be like, okay, well, there's two colors, so I need two colors. And you most likely you're going to be like, whichever one you end up with, whether it's blue or yellow, you're going to be like, okay, I guess blue is lit. And so then you're like, okay, that's right. So then you move on here and say, okay, blue lit. All right, well, I still need to do what I did before, which is isolate those. So that's fine. And then you come to uh, 
something else. So you, this one, you're either going to be doing that way, or you're going to be doing this way. Say, so, okay, well, I still need to isolate this. Because you'll remember your rule from earlier. So the question would be, do I then go to this type of puzzle, which was, the idea was that it would have two paths that you could start from. Um, which I don't really have support for right now, so I would need to code that. And that was sort of the idea. So that you would like get over here and do, you know, one, two, three, four things and then be like, okay. Because then this would force you to do both, right? You'd, that would force you to learn, oh, okay, I can go either way with it. I could do something like this, where you just have to be like, you'd have to figure out that you can just check her board. Because that seems like a more figuring out the ideal strategy thing than um, any technical execution. I just wanted to make sure that nobody was going to think, okay, which one of these is white, which one of these is black, right? It doesn't work like that. This also forces you on that, right? Because say you're, say you're thinking blue is lit here, and you get to this one and do that, then here you go blue lit, and you'll be like, okay, well there's no way for me to make this unlit, so maybe I can make that lit, and you'll be like, oh okay. So that kind of works in the same way, and that might be a, a good thing there, and then this could be a capstone. two of those here, it's like two starting spots. Um, I think the way I tried to set this up was that this would run power to this, which would run power to that. The problem seems to be that it's not sending it to another thing, which is a bit strange. Some, for some reason that we're attached to a panel. So I guess I'll look and see what's going on with that. To begin with. Because, okay, so that makes it power, as far as I can tell. If I look at this one, Okay, the problem is that player stands on the power overrides that. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, so the issue is I need to go is stood on or input power source is power. That's how it needs to be. So it gets powered either way. It's a little way to hack it, at least. 
what is not set to instance of an object. And the power source isn't set to instance of an object. Oh, it's because it's running on all the other ones. So I need to go if has power source. Then we do this. And then oops. Then we do that. Or else we do just this. Stop a lot of these power sources. Okay, so that gives me the option to do that there or there. So that works now. So that's good. So the question is, how do I want to organize this if I'm going to do it like that? set up like this sequence should be here and then this sequence that's there right now should be over here and that should unlock going up here so you should be able to at that point make your way through these and then I could put this these puzzles over here and that would probably be a better layout overall the issue is that stuff is getting mighty messy over here Then you would have to do this this way. I can put it in a hallway where you have to like go through like that. all this over here out of the way then I just have room to stick it over here on a, a branch. Part of me wants to do. And I can move all this. most of these here, so this area is going to get some serious cuts because it's not as good as I would like. So if I'm going right here, then this should be... Thank you. 
bit too, uh, all over the place. I think we'll go like that. That should free me up a little bit of space, hopefully. most of the time. It was already sounding all over the place. Even if it just had some old music, it would be nice. Because the bottom one's not lined up. probably want, once you get to this side, for there to be an alternate route through. So it might be something more like this. So 
that would have a, a route through there. because I liked actually that this was set up to go parallel alongside that. This really needs to be rotated. It's really a matter of rotating this more than rotating this, but it's okay.
to plink a dink, plink a dinky. Okay, so, so yeah. So then we go up here and do that. Probably should be offset a little bit by itself. to listen to. set up the mouse to where it's like in world space so that like as you walk the mouse would be like this and then you would kind of you won't have to constantly adjust when the camera moves be like you need to adjust it to move it over okay so then this guy here like I said it's supposed to be just a kind of trick thing that you figure out like that This I did backwards, it looks like. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Could have a way to open to get back down here. But in any case, so then the idea would be that you'd go through this set. I 
guess I could have like an area where you go through here and then you, there's also a, a shore up here or something that can go down. So it'd be kind of like a uh, That would be how that one works. So this one would go up here. And its input would be this power source. here and solve this one like this. And then you'd have a little path to go back down here. This would be like a stream running through here, I guess, more or less. It would be water running down this way. And back down here, and this is water here, and it runs over. This would probably have to be at switch sides so the water can run down here. Put that on that side. And the water can run all the way up here as a, as a river go up here and have a whole kind of water area here. That would be your little area to walk back through. Because you don't need to resolve that one doubly every time. I 
gotta fix that pretty soon to where those look like water. And that's all gonna be pretty much that, but going the other way. Um, this we wanna do like this. gonna be set up to where you don't have to do any of these. Like if you just wanted to rush. Like if you get through here and then get up here, you can just rush if you want and you don't have to do any of that. Um, the question is whether this is too easy considering that. Might be. It might make more sense to make this like three colors or something. like this. Obviously you can do it this way because you can do any one problem that way. If I added another color down here like that. Puzzle back can be pretty simple because it's kind of just meant to be whatever. Because I could make it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make it like three and three. It might make sense. To make this one of those kind of puzzles where it's like uh, this. And you can kind of do it like this have to kind of do this to figure out your shortcut back. That might be good. Then you'd have a shortcut back that was pretty simple. Yeah, I like that. I like that better too. Did I already fix this other one, or did I not save that? Yeah, I did. Those are improvements to both of those. That gives you something that's simple enough, but you probably need to do the next set of puzzles to really get it. It gives you an option to go back. So, so I'll probably... question is, do I want to put these going down along this way? Because then if you do that, it kind of makes sense that you should solve something and go up here. And then you would have possibly access to this there. And move all this over to the left, so that this is over here to the left. It's probably not a bad idea. 
so this can kind of just be its own self-contained area right here because that might be kind of hard to get to otherwise. through and do all that. Really just one, two, three. I don't think I need this because that's basically the same thing. If you wanted to do that. So the question is whether I force you to do all that before you do any of this stuff. In some sense, I think the stuff up there is simpler, but I don't really remember. We get up here. Yeah, it's like that's a little simpler, actually. The other stuff. It kind of makes sense to let you do that. Maybe even before you get to this, to let you kind of go do this if you want to. Because it's a whole set of things that's like, you get up there, right? I guess I could kind of let you go up here and do this if you wanted to right here. And then if you don't, then you can go do this, where you'll learn about the color stuff. And then maybe if you go to this side, then you would unlock this area. Not sure. I'm trying to figure out the best structure for that. Um, I'm going to take another quick break.